Rutherford B. Hayes, the 19th president. Hi, I'm going to tell you guys about Rutherford B. Hayes, America's 19th president, who served from 1877 to 1881. Rutherford B. Hayes was born in Ohio and made his early career as a lawyer. He was actually the first American president to have attended a proper law school. As an ardent abolitionist, he defended the rights of refugee slaves from the South. When the Civil War started, he joined in on the side of the Union and actually became somewhat of a war hero for being shot multiple times and having multiple horses shot out from underneath him. That reputation as a war hero is then going to help propel him into politics where he's going to serve on the United States Congress for Ohio as well as become the governor of Ohio. Rutherford B. Hayes decides to run for president in 1876, and of course he wins that election, that's why we're talking about him, but not without tremendous controversy, because Rutherford B. Hayes actually does not win the popular vote in the election of 1876. And as a Republican president, he needs more electoral votes. So what the Republicans decide to do is make a deal with the Democrats, known as the Compromise of 1877, where essentially the Republicans will agree to pull federal troops out of the South, essentially ending Reconstruction there, and in return the Democrats will allow Rutherford B. Hayes and the Republicans to have enough votes and electoral votes to secure the presidency. This essentially ends Reconstruction in the South and complete federal protections for African-American voting rights in the South won't really return in full until the 1960s with the Voting Rights Act. As president, Rutherford B. Hayes is cognizant not to rock the boat too much. We're only 10 years after the Civil War. Uh, it, through that aim, he does take a trip to the South to the attempt to mitigate tensions. Uh, Rutherford B. Hayes does veto some legislation meant to disenfranchise the rights of African Americans in the South, but his big focus is on reforming something called the spoil system. The spoil system is the idea that people get jobs in government based on who they know, with their connections, their political affiliations, and not how good they are at their job, not how qualified. Rutherford B. Hayes thought that was wrong and thought people should get jobs in government based on the quality of their performance rather than who they knew. So he really pushed that. Uh, as president, Rutherford B. Hayes was also the first sitting president to travel all the way to the West Coast when he visited San Francisco in 1880. Some interesting facts about Rutherford B. Hayes, he was pretty conservative, particularly his wife, who got the nickname of Lemonade Lucy, banning alcohol, smoking, card playing, and even dancing in the White House. Rutherford B. Hayes was also the first president to have a telephone installed in, his, in the White House, in his home. Uh, the phone number for that telephone was one.